Tonight, a Redford man is in jail after police say he shot his ex-girlfriend five times and then barricaded himself in his home. As Sean Lay reports, the victim did not only survived, she's already out of the hospital. We're on five points near six mile. This side of the street is Detroit. The other side of the street is Redford. This is where neighbors woke up this morning to a SWAT team surrounding this house. How could someone be shot five times at point blank range and not only survive, but be treated and released within hours and resting at home? That's what happened early Saturday when a 52 year old woman's ex boyfriend broke into her home on the Detroit side of five points and shot her. She's uh, OK. She's she okay. yeah, she was at the hospital and uh, was released already. Police say she was shot with a small caliber handgun. Her family tells me those shots did not hit any vital organs. Meantime, the 53 year old gunman, he ran from this home and ran right into another home right down the block. Still had the weapon on him, ran up in the house. They ran out. He barricaded himself in the house. That's when Lisa Bennett woke up to find police in tactical gear taking cover in her yard. All of a sudden, they see wherever all the <laughs> tactical teams are coming out of people's backyards. They got all their guns on. They had a couple of people that were in camouflage. Detroit police negotiators were able to talk that gunman out of the house. They discovered that he also had warrants for domestic violence. Neighbors in Redford were warned to stay in their homes this morning by a Redford police Nixel email until the all clear was given. What about the people living inside the home with this gunman hiding out inside? They didn't want to share much about what was happening inside the home, only to say they did nothing wrong and that gunman is now in custody in Redford. Sean Lay, Local 4.